Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first visit to our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. We're so happy you have joined us. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, do me a favour and click that subscribe button underneath me here. Then click the bell and select how often you'd like to be notified of new videos on our channel it means you won't miss out <laughs> and please feel free to leave a comment I read them all and I do my best to answer each one especially if there is a question do you haggle do you negotiate on prices you wouldn't think of buying a house or a new car without first negotiating with the seller to make sure you get the lowest possible price, the best deal. And you always, always um, make an offer on, you know, garage sale and trash and treasure market type purchases. So why not use those haggling skills for other purchases you make? Now, haggling for success takes a little skill, a little practice and some confidence. Today, I'm going to share my top five haggling tips. They'll give you the skill and the confidence to haggle for success. Then you can use them to get all the practice you need while you are saving money. Number one, know what you want. Research your item. Research the price at different stores. Use catalogues, flyers, the internet, and don't forget the best possible source of good prices you could have, other people. Ask them where they get their best deals. Number two, this is an important one. Know how much you are prepared to pay as your top limit. Set your budget, stick to it. Now, take into account delivery time if there's delivery and delivery charges, but set your budget and stick to it. Number three, start with the question, what's your best price? Now, a lot of people say don't ask that first. I always do. Just don't get tricked into telling the seller what you can afford or how much you're prepared to pay first. Let them give you a price. When you have that price, you have the bargaining power. Always be polite and friendly because they are doing their job. And if it's in a retail environment, they're paid to make the sale at the best possible price for their employer. Number four, be prepared to haggle the number of people that aren't. Ask another question. Just keep asking questions. But another question might be, how much for cash if you're paying cash? Because remember, cash is king. Even in this tap and go world, cash is still king. Then just sit back and wait for their response. Then ask if they do a senior's discount or a student discount. Or if they would throw in delivery or installation, if it's a washing machine or something, are they prepared to take away the old one? The trick here is, and it's not really a trick, it's something we should all do, is be appreciative of any discount because a dollar in your pocket is much better than a dollar in someone else's. Number five, value add. Now, if they're not prepared to wriggle on the, you know, price the asking price ask how much it would be if you bundled purchases for example you bought a lounge suite and a new tv or a washing machine and a dryer a dishwasher and a refrigerator or freezer um tv and a dvd recorder dress and a pair of earrings or shoes and a handbag and so on value add and get the bulk bundle discount and number six, and by far, this is the hardest, but you need to be prepared to walk away if the price doesn't meet your budget and the seller's not prepared to haggle. They don't want to negotiate. You need to be prepared to say thank you. Thank you for your time. 
appreciate your help and walk away. We haggle to get the best price for our budget, not to spend time going back and forth, only to give in and pay more than we intended to. So don't be guilted into buying if it doesn't meet your requirements, including the price. Before I go, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. If you like this video, a thumbs up. Thumbs up would be lovely and very much appreciated. Please feel free. Uh, let me start again. Please feel free to share the video or any others on our channel with people you, you know, you think it might help them or they might be interested. It helps YouTube and we want to do that. But more importantly, it helps our channel grow and be recognized more easily. And the easier it is to find us, the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done even in today's crazy world. Happy cheaping, happy cheap skating, everyone. I'm so excited about haggling. Happy cheap skating, everyone. I'll be back soon with another video.